Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Man, Hawaii's awesome. It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'll show you a few other places too. No, this has been great. Have you been in there a long time, h -on? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. He lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that wasn't what he wanted at all. I really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right. Kasuga-san, if I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, h -chan. I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We got nothing better to do. So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> You're making things up now, right? It's the truth. Honestly, I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> <laughs> See, look! You're on my chest. You still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. And the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics, but if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. You sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. How's it look, H-on? Can you pull it off? Well, I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it. Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan! No! 
Hey, it's you, from the taxi. <sighs> it's like a meat locker in here. So, these were the ones giving you grief, Tomizawa. Uh, yeah, th there's no doubt about it, Yamai-san. <laughs> Dude looks like a modern-day pirate. Hmm. You know... Your face looks awful familiar. Yeah? Now where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? Not exactly something you'd find in a guidebook, is it? <sighs> On that note, someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. I'll level with you, you're my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <clears throat> I do see your logic. The problem is, he's worthless. <laughs> oh, does somebody not drink his milk? A light tap like that and your bones go crunch. Fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so, I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. Hmm. That's some fine-looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare! If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kasuga-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... Got it. But don't worry. I won't let them anywhere near you. It seems we're at an impasse, then. <sighs> I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. However, this might warm the blood. Kasuga-san, let me take support here. Thanks, Aton. By all means. Hmm. Ass kicking time. Jingoku ni okutte ya ya. Open wide. Get lost. Let's see. Let's get it done. Kazuka-san, they're wide open! Ass picking time! Break yourself! Oh, you worthless rogue. 
folks. Fine, but I'll need time to recover. Yeah. Open wide. Crush you. Show you, kasuka -san, Be careful. Let's get it done. Hey, look at you. Now, kasuka -san, allow me. That's picking time. And back to square one. Break yourself! Sorry, h -son. No telling if there's more on the way. We gotta go! Right. The laptop's safe. And the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Really? Jeez. You're in this scary mess because of me. You got guts, h -son. Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, eh, John? I mean it. You're my hero. Ichiban Kasuga, eh? Well, Kasuga-san, thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you! I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. It was an experience, and an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> you got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's just a difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. <laughs> I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, h -shan. Let's meet up again, uh, once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. A hui ho. <laughs> yes. A hui ho, Kasuga san.
So, this is where Akane-san lives. Excuse me! Akane-san! My name is Ichiban Kasuga! I came here all the way from Japan! Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me! Is anyone home? Maybe she's out. Excuse me! Hello? So, you just woke up on the beach out of nowhere. Yeah. Balls swaying in the breeze. Yeah. On top of that, you have no idea how it happened. No. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna need you to cut the crap here. I can make a better bullshit in my sleep. Sleep that I never get. Thanks to all you Japanese folks running around, needing help, or making trouble. <laughs> I know it sounds like bullshit, but I'm telling the truth! <sighs> and why would I be lying? I'd just be digging my own grave! Well, at least you're not a druggie. Nothing crazy on your report. Guess you're just another sick pervert. But hey, your country's famous for weird shit. <laughs> like the anime porn or the panty machines, huh? Would you just listen? I'm telling you, I'm the victim! Call it robbery, grand theft even! My passport, my wallet, my clothes, my underwear! She did me so dirty! Excuse me? Hello? Just a sec. I'll be right out.
comes my mom. <sighs> okay, thanks for waiting. Akane-san, uh, it's so nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Who are you? Mm. Man, this is delicious. Aw, oh, thanks. I wish I could offer you something a little fancier. Are you kidding? The food's amazing. Not to mention the view. But yeah, uh, sorry I just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> no worries. I'm just happy to finally meet Akane-san's son. Her son, huh? <sighs> Wish that didn't sound so awkward. But to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Feeling what? I mean, I've never heard from her or seen her face once. Not since the day I was born, anyway. Besides, all the old ladies around town brought me up. In that sense, I had more moms than I can count. So, yeah, I don't really know if I need Akane-san to be my mom. But to me, she's just my boss's main squeeze. Anyway, I came out here to give her this. What is it? What's left of the man she loved. Sad to think this is their first reunion in ages. But maybe it'll offer some closure. Maybe. Gotta say, I'm surprised, though. I never knew Akane-san was the type to have a maid. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a maid, per se. I just do her shopping and help around the house. I'm studying abroad here, so it helps me pay tuition. Cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch your name. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, if you didn't hear me yelling it before. <laughs> I'm Chitose. Chitose-san, good to meet you. So, when's Akane-san supposed to be back? Oh, not for a while, actually. She told me she'd be here tomorrow. You know, you could always spend the night. We have a guest room ready and everything. Sure, if it's not too much hassle. So, tomorrow's the day. <sighs> Maybe I'm not ready for this after all. <laughs> I know what'll help calm those nerves. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> Seriously, pineapple wine? <laughs> the God's gift to man. One of Hawaii's many specialties. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking a shine to it. Oh, heck yeah. The drinks are fine. The food's divine. Hawaii's like heaven on earth. Yeah? Then maybe you'll appreciate this. Oh. Hawaii's pretty famous for its rum. Made with sugar grown right on the island. This one's the best of the best. Ooh. And I have to gear myself up here. I take it you're a pretty big drinker if you can handle stuff like this. Not as big as you from what I can see. Speaking of big, those arms. <laughs> a guy's gotta be built, don't you think? <laughs> you think so? Hey, uh, Chitose-san, think you might be a little close? <laughs> Am I? Well, yeah. A sweet girl like you, alone with a scruffy old goat like me. There are guys who might get the wrong signal. What if that's the signal I had in mind, though? You're one of the nice ones, Kasuga-san. I feel like I can trust you already. Wow, you really are swole, aren't you? Do you box? Uh, no. I do throw punches every now and then, but... Uh, that's not the point here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> You're so easy to read, Kasuga-san. Mm, 
By the way... Y yes <laughs> Did I mention we have the house to ourselves tonight? <sighs> Listen, Shitose-san, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world just being here. And I appreciate you taking care of me. But... I'm sorry. There's somebody else in my life. Huh. A girlfriend? Uh, if only I could call her that. If only she didn't hate my guts. And what's the problem? Besides, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Yeah, well, it'll still hurt me. Hope you understand. <laughs> you are just the sweetest guy, aren't you? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I went too far. All I want is for you to be comfortable. And you know what that means? <laughs> A toast to being an honest man. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, that's the same rum we've been drinking, right? Hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Come on, it's just one little sip. <laughs> man up, Ichiban. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're doing this. <laughs> to honesty, then. Oh, wow. This is kicking my ass. Chitose san, how are you still hanging? Oh. The hell was that? Think I should have eaten more. <gasps> Sorry, Chitose-san. The glass just slipped. <sighs> Chitose-san. Should have done this from the start. <sighs> Sweet dreams, Kasuga-san. After that, you wandered around for about a half an hour before our boys rounded your dangly ass up. And that concludes our story. Look, I was just trying to get back to Akane-san's house. Right. Akane-san. The mother you never met, then you claim some mystery maid took everything you had. Officer, you gotta believe me. Believe you? Do you even understand your situation? You've got no passport, no wallet, not even the clothes on your back. That effectively makes you a John Doe. How do you like your new American name? Point is, 
No one's gonna believe a single word you say. <sighs> I'll give you one chance to unfuck yourself. You call up that so-called mother of yours and get her to pay your bail. I'll even be so kind as to lend you a phone. <sighs> There's no point. I don't have a way to get in touch with her. Oh, no one's on your side, huh? Well, that's a crying shame. <sighs> now, what do I want to put you down for? Don't want to waste you on something petty. But when was the last big... Hey, what are you mumbling about? Oh, yeah! That one case. It happened a half a year ago on River Street. Some money-waving tourist got mugged. Lost nearly everything on him, including his life. Took him three months just to get off the respirator. All right, what's that got to do with me? Oh, I'm getting to that. See, to this day, we don't have a clue who did it. It's our job to protect the peace. But when a crime like that goes unsolved, that's a problem, right? Well, that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Buddy, you are slow on the uptake. I'm saying you are that culprit. What? Right now, you don't have a single shred of proof to defend you. So I can turn you into any criminal I want. <laughs> but hey, you'll be doing society a favor. Us cops can recover our image and the public can sleep better at night. You bastard! Yeah, that's more like it. Go ahead, take a swing. No, no, really, make my day. Because when the courts find out you assaulted a cop, your grave gets that much deeper. <laughs> you really are the perfect criminal. <laughs> now that I think of it, a few other cases ran cold, too. Wouldn't be hard to pin those on you, either. Let's see. Add it up. You just earned yourself at least 20 years in the slammer. And while you're riding away, I'll be celebrating with the top brass. Huh. Maybe even get that big promotion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. You know, I grew up in a pretty shitty neighborhood with some pretty shitty people. I've never met anyone so full of shit in my life. Music to my ears, asshole. Now get up. You'll be cooling in a cell till hell freezes over. That's right. Just keep your head down and your mouth shut. Unless you want a longer sentence. <laughs> Thought so. Hey, officer. What? Why'd you want to be a cop in the first place? <laughs> to protect and serve. What else? Any other stupid questions? You're about what I expected. I should tell you, I had a history with the Yakuza way back when. Oh, yeah. Your back was all inked up. Fitting image for a violent, reckless scumbag. Maybe so. After all, we Yakuza can be reckless. And we do get pretty violent. Oh? Uh, Holy! Suck on that! Stop right there! Hey! We got a runner! Stop! Damn! Shit! How'd I end up in this mess? My ass is grass if I'm caught. Better get a move on. You're in deep shit, what the hell? Pal. You sent a patrol car over already? We got around that fast? I'd stop if I were you. Don't do anything stupid. We're gonna lock your ass up.
You're not getting away! We're gonna lock your ass up! Don't do anything stupid! Stay where you are! There he is! Get him! <sighs> Crap! Freeze. Hands up. A fitting end for the hero of Yokohama. I doubt Masumi Arakawa would approve. Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? Well, it's just... You seem a lot different than before. How about now? <sighs> yeah, that's the Kiryu-san I know. But why are you even here? Now's not the time. For starters, let's see that other hand. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, much better. But hey, have you always been this handy? More or less. Let's move. Man, am I glad you're here. Kiryu-san, allow me to give you proper thanks. You made me a fugitive's accomplice. Not sure a simple thanks will cut it. Uh, Kiryu-san, please forgive an idiot like me! <laughs> I'm kidding, Kasuga. I heard you got set up. Doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, not at all. But wait, how'd you even know where to find me? Well, I'm actually here on a job. I came to Hawaii to find someone. So I've been hitting the streets for intel. And that's when I heard about you. I guess I'm lucky your job took you here then. You saved my ass just now. By the way, when you say you're on a job... Guess I should start from the top. You know I'm dead on paper, right? Yeah. I heard it's to protect your family. Ever since I made that choice. There can't be a trace of me anywhere. And to prevent any slip-ups, any move I make is under watch. The Watchers are the Daidoji faction. They keep our economy flowing and our leader's hands clean. At least, on the surface. Sounds like fun people. Well, they requested that I take a certain job. I'm here with an assignment. An urgent one. <sighs> you are to find and detain the person in the photo. Doesn't look like your average terrorist, at least. Who is this, anyway? I do wish you learned your place by now. Have I ever answered those questions? Figured it was worth a try. We'll ready you a passport by next week. Under an alias, naturally. And why do I need a passport? For your vacation, of course. Your target is in Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? So that's what brought you. Must really be something big to drag you of all people out here. More or less. And right when I was getting down to work, I ran into you. <laughs> Guess trouble always finds me in the end. I promise I'll make up for it somehow. 
Okay. Then why don't I return the favor? I can help you on your search. You'll be the cool-headed advisor, and I'll, I'll be the hot-blooded muscle. Thanks. But don't you have enough to worry about? You assaulted and evaded an officer. Pretty sure that adds up to a felony. In fact, I imagine they have a warrant out for you as we speak. Though... In the end, I guess you're safer sticking with me. If it's money you need, I can help. But I can't do much about your passport. No worries. I'll get back what's mine. And forget the little thief if I tried. And on that note... I've got a couple words she needs to hear. You know where this thief of yours might be? I... have no idea. Uh, but, I was thinking Akane-san's house might hold some clues. You know, since the thief was working for her. Do you remember how to get there? Uh, uh, yeah, I should. Why? Because I'm gonna need directions. Wow, you're really gonna take me? Man, you really do go the extra mile. Uh, you, uh, need a shoulder rub? Do that, and I'll probably crash this thing. Thank you. No. I'm sorry. Let's get serious. Hey. <laughs> huh? I'll kick you down a notch. Bring it on. You don't want to stick out. Let's make this quick. Right! You're on it now. Let's see you. Real fight. It's all about your swing. You want to change it up for each opponent. How's this for you? Let's see you try. Let's see you try. Huh? You're done. Let's see you try. Let's see you try. Let's see you try. Let's see you try. Paralyzed. Something wrong? Paralyzed. Allow me. Come on! What'd you expect? Dragon of Dojo and don't mess around. Yeah. Ow. Paralyzed. Here we go. No holding back. My heart. Pretty bold of in the back. Think I'm getting stronger.
Hey there. Aroha. ありがとうございましたあっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、あっ、Kiryu-san here has been all sorts of help to me lately. Hmm, is that so? Well, the pleasure's all mine, Kasuga. Now that we're all acquainted, how about we have a drink? Sure, it'd be an honor. Kasuga. Yes. Well, that helped take the edge off? Yeah, sure does. Sorry to make you pay for it. I feel like such a dumbass. But man, ain't nothing like drinking up and chowing down in Hawaii. Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Uh, yeah, well, it's been a hell of a journey so far. From the moment I came here, I've had nothing but non-stop madness. But you know, seeing you here makes me feel a whole lot better. Getting sucked into local trouble's never easy, is it? That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna make it even, for everything you've done for me. Okay, but I won't be holding my breath. Seriously, I'm not talking out of my ass here. For me, getting to help you is a privilege. So whatever I gotta do, just say the word, and it's done. All right. <laughs> I can tell you mean it. Thanks for the offer, Kasuka. Hey, any time, Kiryu-san. It really is an honor. Well, here's to our strange reunion. Right on. Cheers! You gonna sleep all day? It's getting close to noon. What? Here, you son. Why are you here? Hell, why am I here? For reference, we never left the bar. After you passed down at the counter, I had to lug you up here myself. Oh, my bad. Strange. I can usually drink way more than that. Guess you were pretty exhausted. A good night's sleep can help. Yeah, I'm feeling 110% now. Good. Then it's time we headed out. Right, to Akane-san's house. I left the car out in front of my hotel. We'll take that to get there. Sounds good.
You're up early. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to park my ass upstairs my first time here. Honestly, it's no problem. I used to charge per night, but that was long ago. Nowadays, that room's only good for storage. If you ever need a rough over your head or a place to speak in private, feel free to make yourself at home. Really? Awful kind of you, man. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this, but a friend of his is a friend of mine. So swing on by any time. Yeah, you bet. See you around. D. Hey. Hmm? Are you a customer? Aloha! Aloha! <laughs> Aren't you a friendly one? <laughs> Just doing what I can. Hey, are you a customer? I don't think we've met before. Oh, yeah! I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kiryu-san said this place was his favorite, so... I wanted to check it out. Kiryu-san? Are you two friends? Oh my god, isn't he the coolest? Kiryu-san, I mean, he's so refined, but also so dark and doleful. The way he sits at the bar mulling over his drink, like the whole world's hanging over him. I know better than to pry about his past, of course, but nothing gets by me neither. I can promise you that. Fact is, I just melt into puddles every time he looks into the distance and goes, Soka. Of course. Don't think I haven't noticed he's got that cute, naive side to him, too. Like, like... Oh, uh, sorry. I got kind of carried away there. Don't tell him I said anything, okay? <laughs> Did I introduce myself? I'm Kay. I work here at Revolve. Nice to meet you, Ichiban. Likewise. I just got here, so I got no idea where things are, and kind of all alone. Think you can give me the lowdown? That's so? Then I know the perfect thing for you. You know, Aloha Links yet? What's that? Only the trendiest fucking community app we got here in Hawaii. Everyone's using it now. Uh, so it's for, like, people around town? Yeah, it's basically our own little social network. And you can friend people on it just by saying hi. Hawaii's so easygoing. It makes sense something so casual will get popular, you know? All you need to do is walk up to someone and give them an aloha, and the app takes care of the rest. Works like magic. See, I'm not from here originally. For a while, I had trouble fitting in. And I was like, what the hell? Whose ass do I have to kick to meet some motherfuckers around here?
But with the app, I made a bunch of friends practically overnight. Now I feel more at home in Hawaii than I did back in Georgia. Oh, no kidding. Well, it definitely sounds interesting. Any chance you can put it on my phone, too? Bet your ass I will. Let me install it for you. <laughs> hey, thanks. All right, guess I'll give it a go. What are you guys chatting out here? I mean, you're done shopping? Oh, hey there, boss. Perfect timing. Go ahead and give it a whirl on the bartender, Ichiban. Huh? Oh, for real? He uses it too? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know it looking at him, but he's crazy about it. Try flashing him a greeting real quick. All right. Hello! Aloha. <laughs> the old man's got a pretty open mind for this stuff. I like that about him. Go ahead and take a look at your app now. You should already be friends. Whoa, you're right! This really is cool! Right? Pretty fun, huh? Check out the profiles of the people you greet. It's a great way to learn more about them. Try doing favors and shopping locally, too. Before long, I bet you'll have friends coming out of your asshole. Right on. Okay, then. Guess I'll cruise around and make some friends. Heck, maybe I'll try going for a hundred. Why not? Ha! That's the spirit, motherfucker! Hey, if you two are finished, get back to work. Yes, sir. Catch you later, guy. Sure. See you around. Oh, Dawn. I completely forgot. Huh? Oh, uh, what's that? My friend request. I mean, we're friends now, too. Aren't we? Bye-bye, Ichiban. Come again if you ever need some big-ass shoulder to lean on. And bring my husband with you. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later, friend. I get ya. Um, hello? Yamaoka-san, is that you? I'm from Mismatch. Chiaki. Huh? Mismatch? Chiaki? Yes, um, the dating app. Yamaoka-san? You're not him. Uh, uh, no. Sorry? Huh. It's just... You've got scruffy hair and a beard, and you're at the right spot. Um, excuse me. Are you...? Oh, you must be Yamaoka-san. I'm so sorry. I had the wrong person. Hey, <laughs> no problem. Glad you both made it. Nice to meet you, Yamaoka-san. If I may say, you're taller than I thought. chiaki san pleasure's mine. You're even cuter than your pictures. Aw, that's sweet of you. So, let's head somewhere? Sure. Wow, you really are my type from the looks of it. Miss Match doesn't miss. Right? Miss Match is like your very own Cupid. Sounds kind of interesting. Miss Match, huh? Who is she? Why, hello there. Whoa! Etiquette tip? Whoa. Isn't a very nice way to greet a lady. Sorry about that. Uh, are you Miss Match? Call me Machiko, the legendary Hawaiian fortune teller. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm uh, Ichiban Kasuga. 
you with me? Sorry, it's just that couple. Mismatch helped them meet, they were saying. It's impressive. You must really be psychic or something. Don't get excited. It's all a load of hokum. I used to run a showy market stall, and all I got were skeptics and bastards. That? A hokum? Of course. If I could really see the future, I'd get rich on the stock market, not run this thankless scam. Uh, but, but those two were thanking you, weren't they? <laughs> they were thanking this. What is it? <laughs> a dating app. I designed it myself. You did? Mm-hmm. Look, the app's named after me, Miss Match. Dating by divination. Oh, it really is. The name's what sold it. I mismatch the matchmaker. Branding is everything. Oh, yeah. So, uh, sorry, what's a matchmaking app? <laughs> Where have you been? You've never tried online dating? Guess not. I'm bad with tech stuff. A dating app is... Well, it helps you find a romantic partner. Someone to go out with. You enter your preferences, and the app finds compatible people near you. That's the long and short of it. Of course, you can always take the initiative and message whoever you like. It's just a way to mingle. I think I see. So, you, you contact people you're interested in, and then what happens? You talk to one another, see if there's any chemistry. If so, then you meet in person. It happens all the time. Dating apps exist because meeting in the real world is harder than ever these days. They're how people make connections now. What happens when you meet? That depends on the meeting, obviously. Usually, it's just a simple first date. You see if there are sparks, or the shits. Some couples end up married before long. Some kids are only in it for you-know-what. Takes all kinds. Uh, you... Oh, you know what? Oh, did that get you interested? No, um, not like that. Anyway, your app sounds really useful. It's not what I'd imagined I'd do with my life, to be sure. The fortune-telling business wasn't enough, though. I wanted to give people romantic advice face-to-face. -face. But young people these days do everything online. Had to keep up, you know. It's just not fashionable anymore to get your love line read by an old woman. A monthly subscription to an app, though. <laughs> Learning to code was hell, but worth it. Got to use my experience finding people's soulmates, and revenue is good. That's a hell of a story. Wow. Of course, the story's not over yet. The app's still in beta. There are quite a few bugs. W what's a beta? Ah, you wouldn't be familiar, would you? It's like a trial run before the product's finished. Eventually, the app will be released worldwide. But until it's completely ready, it's only functional in Hawaii. Wow. The limited scope has made it harder to get people to sign up. Strangely, we're particularly low on men. The bigger the user base, the easier it is to know what needs improvement. I really must focus on recruitment. Say, what about you? Would you try it out? What? Me? Sure. You seem romantically illiterate, and your eyes went wide at the thought of you know what. A perfect candidate. Hey, come off it, lady. <clears throat> you know what's not what I'm in it for. Besides, I got my heart set on someone special. No way I can start fooling around on her. <laughs> oh, there it is. The telltale words of the adult virgin. Utterly textbook. That's a mindset that repels women, you know. I suppose this special someone has yet to reciprocate your attention. Huh? How did you know that? Did you read my fortune? I told you that's bullpucky. Trust me. I don't need clairvoyance to see your cold streak. Crushes are fine, but not obsessions. And you know what they say. There's no better way to catch someone's eye than to seem out of reach. What? What's that mean? Picture this. At the store, do you buy one tuna sashimi that's going untouched, or another kind that's flying off the shelves? I'd get the popular one. <laughs> Who wouldn't? 
And right now, you're a reject cut of tuna boy. If you want to win her heart, you need to spruce up. Would you date a butcher who goes, my tuna may smell rank and look nasty, but it'll devote itself to you if you try it. Well, some people might find pure love attractive. And wait, am I the tuna or, or the butcher? Ah, uh, you're hopeless is what you are. Say you're right, and pure love is what you can offer. How's that worked out for you so far? Uh, not that well, I guess. There you have it. I may not be psychic, but your future is as plain as day. You'll dry up old and alone, never getting the girl or sowing your oats, cared for only by the hospice nurses. No! That can't happen! Come on! What should I do? Help me! <laughs> I already told you, dear. Sign up for my service. Use it to experience the highs and lows of dating. Let every encounter refine you. That's the way to become a man worth dreaming of. The kind of man she wants. But I'd be talking to other women, wouldn't I? Isn't that like cheating on her? Is your brain even functioning? You can't cheat on her if you're not dating in the first place. Honestly, you're like a little boy in a middle-aged body. You haven't got the prerequisites to cheat. Oh, I'm just getting depressed now. No, listen. The best thing for you would be to talk to women, as many as you can. Polish yourself up into a proper man. Just think of it as readying yourself for the one you truly love. Understand? You really think so? Honestly, try it out for yourself. That'll be more effective than anything I tell you, right? Yeah. Uh, well, if it's just one try. Great. Come with me. We'll step into my office. Look at that! Time to turn on the charm! Like that did the trick. <laughs> what do I say? Can't go wrong with this one. I need to choose a good response. What do I say? It's 
go with this. I need to choose a good response. Not bad. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for this blessing. Can't go wrong with this one. What do I say? Like that did the trick. Hi, Dodo. Uh huh. This is quite informative. Go with this. I need to choose a good response. That works. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Choose a good response. Let's go with this. What do I say? Did the trick. Oh. No one can resist stickers.
Can't wait to finally meet! <laughs> Took you long enough. Keep it in your pants, Gramps. Jeez, what the hell? <sighs> How was it? Your first taste of a dating app. <sighs> Sheesh. I, I think I lost track of time. Uh, and I never realized how hard it is to sound appealing in conversation. Isn't it? You may think you know yourself well, but it all collapses when you try to communicate that to someone else. When it's all text, you haven't got the leeway to convey what you can through appearance and tone. Every word you choose matters. What we say reflects who we are and vice versa. A dummy will always sound dumb. A prick only speaks prickish. Words are mirrors. They lay you bare uncompromisingly. So really, unlike traditional ways, dating apps let you see the true nature of a person much more quickly. I understand. Words are mirrors. The way you speak reveals the man you are. Oh-ho! Beginning to see things more clearly, I take it. Yeah, I... Uh, I might have said some not-so-great stuff to that girl I like. At the time, I thought I was just expressing how I felt sincerely. Now I get that it may have been too much. Maybe the words I chose ended up driving her away. Oh, I get it. It's not enough just to be sincere. You, you gotta make sure the person actually understands you. That you're reaching them. <laughs> I think you're growing up a bit. It'll be all right. Use the app and practice self-reflection. With time, you'll figure out how to express yourself effectively. You're not a bad guy, just a little too naive. Once your communication skills improve, I bet that girl will take notice of you. Think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am a fortune teller, after all. <laughs> Don't jinx it now. Cards on the table. I had planned on charging you a premium fee to sign up, but you changed my mind. I'm interested in where your journey takes you. I'll waive the price of registration. Oh, seriously? Yes. Your user data will be worth more than that anyway. <laughs> Plus, you don't look like you're good for the money. I appreciate it. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean the whole thing's free. The app runs on microtransactions. The more you pay, the easier it is to find new matches. Generally, the most attractive users do just fine. But everybody else has to pony up. And I can't cover you that much. Hold on. You gotta spend to find more matches? What kind of scam's that? Boy, that's your virginity talking again. Only idealistic children mistake business for volunteer work. Keeping an app updated isn't free. Somebody has to pay the light bulb man. Free to install doesn't mean free to enjoy. Young folks today want the whole kit and caboodle without giving one red cent. And the internet reviews? It's a showboat of entitlement. People put no money in, then start screaming, dead app, and demanding these apologems. Do they have any idea how hard it is to make money anymore in this economy? Gotcha, addicted brats. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, forget it. Just venting a little. Never mind that. Keep at it like we said, and the matches will come. You want to win over the girl of your dreams? Learn the language of love in Hawaii and return home a conquering hero. Yeah, I will. All right, come what may.
This is it, Kiryu-san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home? It's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu-san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What?! You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom?! I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <clears throat> Yamai! What's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. At least in the underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. Ah, <laughs> shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa! Don't disappoint me this time. I, I won't. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Around back. Business. Get in, Kaska. Don't move. <laughs> you again? Oh, Tomizawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put. All right. If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! 
My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? <sighs> Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamaya? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! If I back out now, you'll kill me. You don't know him like I do. We can help you. Huh? What? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. <laughs> Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> Had a boy, Tommy Zama. Huh? That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tomizawa. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. M boss? No, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. <laughs> Tomizawa! Some choices you can't undo, I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight for the rest of your life. Huh. <laughs> and three. Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would shot him! Hey, but you didn't, alright? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys, listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which, but save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. Show me what you got. Guess I'll teach you some manners. You're in now. Looks like I'm up. 
Cool. Something wrong? Motta koya. Here we go. <laughs> Little bitch for your britches, eh, Tomizawa? Here I come! You're out of here! Allow me. Looks like I'm up. Yeah. All right. Get to me, guy. I'll take you on. Oh. Open wide! I got it! Alright! Don't get caught! Got you now! I won't hold back. Looks like I'm up. Follow my lead. Try I in the back. <laughs> On to the next level. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Come on, get in! Uh, okay. I was right. I knew it was you. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan. It's part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up, and their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about him before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? No way. Something I'm no stranger to? Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to accuse you or anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, from the look of it, the murder was a crime of passion. Huh. Hard to imagine Yamai being passionate about anything. 
That's what the police said, anyway. Apparently, Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the Patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out, he got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. The guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at Akane-san's in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. The hell would the Yakuza want with Akane-san? If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. Then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! That night, Chitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there and she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run, or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah? That'd be okay? Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. That worked for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. You might probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here. God, your face pisses me off! Still good to go. You're throwing away your life! Okay, you asked for it. Yeah! All right. You're in it now. I'll take you on. Got you now. Armed and ready. Allow me. End of the line. Looks like I'm up. You were too much for.
Bye. Hold on. Yes. Should I open it? Got it! Looks like this key opens up a container. Next one I find, this little guy's going in. What are you looking at? I'll take your money. Let's do it! Got 
Give huh? me the best shot. I won't hold that. It's over! That's picking time! Ready as I'll ever be. I'll take you on. It was wrong, you little Here worm. I come! Doing better than I thought. Here we are. Really is a nice hotel you've got. I don't know how people sleep here, let alone a 40. <sighs> Sorry, bud. Jeez, careful, man. <clears throat> Damn it. Got my wallet. What the hell? Hey! You can't just go around stealing shit! Ugh. Get your ass back here! Kasuga, he probably knows the area better than us. Only way to do this is to split up and corner him. Little Japan's still under construction, so let's drive him south toward the beach. Okay, south toward the beach it is. Kiryu-san, Tomizawa, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Make 
sure he didn't pocket anything, Kiryu-san. Yeah, thanks. I don't recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or...? Yeah. Out here, a guy like me won't die of exposure. There's work here, too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. And don't do it again. <laughs> this happened a lot in Hawaii? Just another day in paradise, right? A uh, fun fact, Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. Yet the cost of living here is absurd. You know, according to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees and sparkling waves in the background. Once they get here, it's too late. What the mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. <sighs> what? Akane-san's been missing for ten days?! Then where the heck has she been? I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the mate who set you up, right? Yeah. And based on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. A and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then, why was she even there? <laughs> well, if I know, man. Then we need to ask Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Tomizawa, how would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? Sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His name's Jeff. He runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. His tacos? Yeah. Tastes like ass. But that's beside the point. His real customers are pickpockets and homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, and then what? No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you thinking like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to... You know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? We take a good look and you'll see. Damn. Who are they? The local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, Yamai and his goons are just small fry. What's interesting about them is they don't discriminate when recruiting. Yeah, you know, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless. 
or at least most were. All those years of getting kicked around, ignored, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. <laughs> and it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh-oh. We got trouble. Oh, no, dude! Don't do it! Oh, not to them! Yes, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not so fast, asshole! Uh, beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? Take him around with that. See what's up, Eric. I don't want to see what's up. Fuck with us. I don't want to die. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Shit! I should've just said nothing! <laughs>